You are super down to earth, but get mad easily. You never enjoyed the coupled fox experience. You're a terrible driver. You dated celebrities in your past. You were born rich. You're high maintenance. Oh my gosh, guys. I assume you're a bad driver. It's the second one. Hey guys, hola, welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is going to be a little Diferente. So I asked what your assumptions were about me, any assumptions you may have, and I screenshot them and printed them off. I shoot these videos on my phone so I can't be looking at my phone while I do this, okay? So the first assumption is you never enjoyed the coupled fox experience. So if you're new to my channel or new to following me about three years ago now, damn, time flies. I did a reality show, a dating reality show called Coupled. I wouldn't say that it was the best experience, so I didn't, you know, walk away finding love, which was the goal of the show. But I did enjoy the cast, the crew, the friendships that I made, you know, in my wedding, I'll be in Lindsay's wedding coming up, and I think that's ultimately what I got out of the show, were amazing friends. I did enjoy it. There was another question in here about that. Oh, someone else said that you went into reality TV to find love and left heartbroken. I didn't leave heartbroken. Tyler, the guy that I coupled with, and I ended up just leaving as good friends. We kept in touch. He was in a totally different place in his life than I was at the time. Ironically enough though, he got the reputation of being like the young party boy, would never settle down, but he's the only one who's married right now. He got married like last year. I must have saw something in him. Oh, okay. He and his wife are so freaking gorgeous together and I'm married now too, so it all ended up okay. The next assumption is you have a lot of free downtime. Part of being a business owner, you go into it thinking like, oh, I'm gonna work for myself so I can pick and choose when I work, how often I work, no one's gonna be my boss but you end up working way more because I do get to pick and choose when I work. I end up procrastinating. I'll end up having so many orders and then I'll also have a singing gig and then have to host something all in one week. So I feel like I'm working so much and don't have any downtime whatsoever. I assume you've dated celebrities in your past. Celebrities, like plural, more than one. I dated one well-known athlete, one was enough for me. Not even gonna say his name, so don't ask, don't follow up, because I'm not gonna say it. But it was an experience. They have such a different lifestyle. I feel like with that much money comes a lot of trust issues and a lot of um, people who use you and don't have your best interest at heart, so I think a lot of hurt can develop from having that lifestyle. Really thankful for him, actually. Taught me so much. I'm so thankful for my ex. Thank you, next. Next assumption is, you are super down to earth, but can get mad easily. Yeah, I think I can get mad pretty easily if I'm having a bad day or if it's that time of the month, you know what I'm saying? I got that Latina blood in me, what do you expect? I assume your car is always clean. You know, I prefer a clean car, but I kind of live in my car sometimes, driving back and forth to Arizona from LA and back and forth, so many shoes. So as much as I prefer it to be clean, it's just not possible sometimes. I assume you are high maintenance. Don't kill me, love you. You know what, I, yeah, I'm definitely high maintenance. I'm needy, but then I also like to be completely left alone. So I'm very much like a, come here, do this with me and do this for me. But go away, close the door, leave me alone. But come back really quick just to talk to me and play with my hair. But also like, just give me like, two days by myself. But can we go do this together? Can we go grocery shop together? Together? Just shut the door on your way out and don't come back. Can you get that for me? I really, I need you to do that for me. I could do this by myself. I'm an independent woman. I don't need anyone's help to do this. Thank you. I assume that you always ask for guacamole, hashtag extra. I feel known. I assume you are always positive. Well, I would say I'm generally mostly a positive person. Not always. I definitely have my moments where I'm pessimistic and not optimistic. Everything's wrong. Everything hurts. Everything makes me sad. That's just part of being human. 
but girl, I would say in general, I am pretty positive, but not always. Sometimes I get down, real down. You have a lot of money. I'm not rich, I don't have money to spend on lavish vacations or a crazy amazing car or a brand new house for me and my mom and everyone in my family like Instagram has so many people who are like, I just bought my mom her second house. And I'm like, how? I think I'm comfortable and I'm good and I'm very thankful for what I have. One of the assumptions on here was that I grew up rich. While we didn't struggle, I have very clear memories of just not being able to have the same things as my classmates and friends. I remember back then when like Etnies and Vans and Skechers and all those skater shoes came out and also Tommy Hilfiger was big and we just never had those things, my sister and I. But my mom was so creative and sweet and thoughtful. She made us our own Tommy Hilfiger shirts. She would iron on the, the flag and with glitter paint write Tommy Hilfiger. And I'll never forget people being like, what are you wearing? Like, that's not even real. And I would say to them, this was custom made just for me. While as yours is mass produced, everyone has the same shirt as you. Mine was custom made, custom fit, custom designed just for me. And I would still rock that shirt if I had it. Looking back, I never felt like we don't have nice things because we can't afford it. Never thought that, never crossed my mind. But this assumption that I grew up rich is false, was not rich. I assume that you are thinking about your next meal right now, aren't you? LMAO, love you. I just had breakfast and while eating breakfast, I was planning lunch, okay? I assume you are devastated that Derek is selling his llamas. This is a real assumption. Um, that's hilarious. If we had llamas, we would not be selling them. I assume that you nap a lot. There are like three people who said this. I don't nap ever because my naps are never little cat naps. If I lay down in the middle of the day and fall asleep, I'm out for like three hours. I assume you're a bad driver. This is true. I did not get my license until I was 19, pushing 20. Yeah, I was just not very good. <laughs> I didn't feel safe driving myself. And to this day, I'm not the best. I hate parallel parking. Meh. Next assumption is you wear makeup every single day. No. Nope, I wear makeup for when I shoot YouTube videos, makeup for if I have to sing, like if I'm on stage, makeup for hosting, if I'm on camera. Overall, most of the time, every single day, I assume you would never do reality TV again. You are correct. But I do watch Bachelor, Bachelorette, Bachelors in Paradise with a different lens now because having experienced what I did, I see things differently. I catch all the edits. I see what they're doing. I see how it's produced because of my experience. I assume that you have a lot of friends but no best friend. I have a lot of friends and they're all beautiful and amazing and I love them so much. I do have a best friend though, and that's Courtney, and I'm the godmother to her two perfect children. I assume you've been doing pranks since you were little. Actually, I do remember loving shows like Boiling Points and Punked. Remember when those shows were out, guys? I would get so many ideas, but I never would fully act them out. But now that I'm a grown woman, I'm all about what can we do to prank him, her, mom, dad, my grandma. I'm working on one to prank my grandma actually. I assume you were always popular in school. Nope, not true whatsoever. My curfew was always like two or three hours earlier than everyone else's. I had to be home from prom at like 10 p.m. So I just was never part of the cool crew, the popular people, ever. But it's fine, because I just never wanted to belong to like one group. I was friends with just like everyone I possibly could be friends with. I assume you are trying to get pregnant. Nope. I assume you've done pageants your whole life. A lot of people think that you have to be like toddlers and tiaras, born into pageantry, rich, and that's just not true at all. I was dared to do Miss Arizona. I remember to pay for my first pageant dress, I had a garage sale, and that money was used to buy my dress from like Ross or something. I assume Romeo goes everywhere with you. He sure does. He goes grocery shopping with me. He goes with me when I get my nails done. All I have to say is, do you want to go bye bye See how his ears perk up? Because he knows. Besitos. I assume that you can sing like a queen. Oh, grrr. That's literally what it says. I love you. I'd love it if you guys would like leave requests of songs you want because that motivates me and encourages me to sing more. Thanks so much for watching. Besitos.